This past Sunday, Margie and I visited Cameron, Texas, the county seat of Milam County. Milam County is named after Ben Milam, a hero of the Texas Revolution. In December 1835, the Texians were considering calling off the siege of Bayer, or modern-day San Antonio, for the winter. Milam didn't think this was a good idea, so he stood up and asked who will go with old Ben Milam into San Antonio. About 300 men were willing to do so, and after four days of fighting, San Antonio was taken. Milam unfortunately lost his life on the second day of fighting when he was shot through the head by a Mexican rifleman. The provisional Texas government wasted no time in honoring Milam for his sacrifice. An existing municipality was renamed in his honor, and during the first Congress of the Republic of Texas, it was organized as Milam County. For about ten years, the community of Nashville and the Brazos, which is today a ghost town, served as the county seat. In 1846, Cameron was established and became the new county seat. The historic 1892 Cameron County Courthouse is the fourth courthouse to serve the county. The previous courthouse had been completed in 1875, and after 14 years of service, the county decided to replace it. It is said that one particular judge complained of too much smoke in his office. The new courthouse was designed by A. O. Watson, who was responsible for several other Texas courthouses. It is a Renaissance revival building that features a central clock tower with a statue of the Goddess of Justice on top. During the 20th century, like many other Texas courthouses, this one was modernized. The statue and tower were removed. The county elected to put the statue into storage for safekeeping. In 2001, the county received a grant to restore the courthouse. When they went looking for the statue, they found they'd done such a good job hiding it that nobody could find it, so the statue that is up there today is a replica. Across the street from the courthouse stands the 1895 Milam County Jail, a Romanesque revival structure that served until 1975 when it was replaced. Like many Texas jails of this era, this one features a central hanging tower. However, it was never used for its intended purpose. In Milam County, hangings were conducted in public in front of the jail. We're coming up on Halloween now, so it seems appropriate that this jail is haunted. It is said that the ghost of a man who was hung here still haunts the jail. Visitors report hearing steps going up and down the spiral staircase, even when no one else is in the building. That's all for now. I hope this weekend you're able to go out and explore Texas. Information in this episode was taken from Wikipedia the online edition of the Handbook of Texas, and the Texas Escapes website, which is a fantastic source of information about Texas courthouses and their history.